Hello my precious jewels. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, makeup reviews, first impressions, and all things beauty, then you've come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a drugstore summer makeup tutorial. These are products that I've had. Some of them are new, some of them are new to me, and some of them are products that I love. I'm going to be using this Glam Light Barbie Dream Summer Palette. This was from last year when Barbie was everything. I bought it then. I never tried it, so we're going to try this today. Hopefully you guys like a good pink eyeshadow look. That's what I'm feeling today, so that's why I pulled it out. I was like, I never tried this, so let me do that. I also have this new Wet n Wild Niacinamide Skin Tint. I have it in two shades. I think this one is the one we're going to try. I don't know why. It just looks like it's a better shade for me. The shades are on here. One is Chestnut Deep Dark, and the other one is Mahogany deep dark. I think chestnut is going to be our shade, but we're going to see. I also have some new powders from She Glam. <laughs> I have a peach one and I have a pink one. These are like the colors that everybody's raving about, so we're going to try those shades. I have this Juvia's Place Ready Set Seal Setting Spray that I'm going to be trying. I'm loving these L'Oreal True Match Serum Concealers and just a plethora of other drugstore products. So hopefully this is something that you guys are interested in seeing and you will stay tuned to the video until the end. Of course, we want to see what the finished look is going to be like. Also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you love a good makeup tutorial, a good drugstore makeup tutorial, please give the video a thumbs up and um, I'm going to get started. Okay, so we already brushed our brows up with the Sephora Shape and Set Clear Brow Gel. So I waited and it is definitely hard. What I like about it is that it is it's allowing me to create the shape that I want and so far it's looking really really good so I like that yeah when you have oily skin and you don't have hair in every spot it's hard so I love that I love the way that came out this is my favorite brow pencil as of lately I just love the way it looks on camera like it just has a beautiful beautiful look and the shade is perfect this one needs like a little more darkness very good I don't know if I should go over it again I don't think that I am and I mean over it again with this brow gel maybe I will put some on it with the flat side just so I can have that laminated look now I'm going to use this elf 16 hour camel I love this to carve out my brows what's good about this is that this one it dries down so it makes a nice base to put shadows on okay I think yeah this dries down pretty fast I'm excited about trying this palette I wish I would have got to it last summer but it just did not happen you can use any pink palette it doesn't necessarily have to be this one Juvia's Place has a lot of pink palettes a lot of different pinks in their palettes and this palette I, I checked before I started filming it's not available anymore like you can get it from from like aftermarket places or like you know those sites that sell makeup I don't recommend it I don't want any makeup that somebody else has played in that's just my opinion but like I said you can get this kind of look and I don't know what kind of look it's gonna be but we can get another pink palette like there's so many palettes that have pink okay so I like the way that face is looking I'm working on being more disciplined with putting stuff back when I pull it out I want to put it back it sounds easier said than done okay so this package is so pretty I think it used to retail for like I don't know I think it was like $29 or $39 last year so these are the oh these are the pretty colors it's like more of not really summer pinks in there it's not even a lot of pinks in there so we may have to go purple with a little bit of pink we're gonna see because I want to I just want to try these. this is pretty I know I've been doing too many green looks but just look at that beautiful shade right there okay let's see this pink right here that pink is so pretty there are a lot of pinks maybe we could do like maybe teal pink purple we gotta try to incorporate as many of these shades as we can that's what I'm gonna do because there's a lot of pretty colors in here I'm just gonna do what my spirit tells me to do okay so I'm gonna go into this first shade right here called sunshine and use that in my crease and see what it does it has cute little sunglasses embedded in the shadow but you know once you use it they gotta disappear but it's cute i like it has mostly bees but some sunglasses some palm trees yeah this is like a mustardy yellow it's pigmented so far so good and they're very buttery going on i think this is my second palette from glam light i'm going over this area right here this is my area that i don't know why the eyeshadow doesn't want to stay on <laughs> 
Yeah, okay, I like that mustardy color. It's pretty. I'm just gonna do the other eye. I just like to build it up as much as I can so the color can be seen. I'm gonna go into this brush right here. This is the Sigma E40 brush. I just wanna blend this shade out some. That color is very pretty. This one was a Morphe M513, if I didn't say it. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Unstoppable. I'm gonna put that. Very nice. I love a good pink anything. Pink shadow, pink lip, pink blush. It's so good. I'm gonna go back into this shade right here. This one, sunshine, and just blend this out. I like that. So far, so good. I'm gonna go into this purple right here and put it in the crease. That shade is called Bestie. And I'm gonna go right here with it. I just wanna pack that on. That is so good. That's a nice, pretty, deep purple. I'm loving that so far. So pretty. I'm gonna go into this right here, just by lighter purple. These shades are so pigmented. I love it. Look at that. Gorgeous. That is so pretty. I have always been a person that loves color. And it hasn't changed. The older I get, I just love more color. Like I do. So good. I'm going back into Bestie and just making sure it still looks deep in our corner. All right, I'm going to use this brush right here by Makeup by Ariel, the A29 brush. And I'm going to go into this pink right here, which is called play day and put that on the rest of the eye. That is so gorgeous. Do you see that? So now me, in the summertime, I like more matte eye looks only because if my face should happen to get oily or dewy looking, I don't want dewy shadow and a dewy face. I'm gonna put some lashes on and a liner of course and then I'll be back to start with the face. No, actually, I always do that, right? I'm just gonna clean. One thing I could say, it was not a lot of fall out so that's good those eyes are so gorgeous okay I'm gonna put a primer on I just want to spray this on this is like my favorite favorite perfume of the summer and I just want to spray it a little bit I'm not I'm not going anywhere but it just smells so tropical and so fruity it's just a beautiful beautiful scent I did a review on this when I purchased it and it is just a gorgeous summer fragrance. If you guys have not tried it, you do not know what you're missing. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Revolution IRL Skin Filter Pore Blur Primer. This is a really good primer. If you guys have not tried it, it's just as good as the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Primer. It's just as good. It gives you the same beautiful, smooth look. I wanna make sure that I hit under my neck with this primer so that my makeup can stay on long. Now mind you, I don't have any intention on going out tonight, but you just never know. I'm gonna just brush this off. This is my serum. I always tell you about it for some reason. When I put makeup on, on top of it, it just has a temper tantrum. If that makes sense, it's crazy. Okay, so yeah, now we have our primer on so we can get right to our skin when I come back. Um, let me do lashes and liner. I'm gonna use this Milani liner because I really like it. This Milani, the tank eyeliner, it's good. I have some new half lashes that I've been wanting to try. Let me show you guys the half lashes that I'm talking about. I got these off of Amazon. The company is called Mafni. Mafni. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. It looks like we could do good with a half lash on this, but we, we're gonna test it out and see. That does look pretty. But I think that we need to put some mascara on first. But that does look pretty. So let's try that. Let me get some mascara. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. I don't know how many coats that is, but that's me trying to make the lashes look like they exist. <laughs> Because I have little baby miniature lashes. So, now I would definitely not use this on my lower lashes because it would be all over my face. But so far, you're looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on these lashes. This is the Duo Lash Glue. It's my favorite, and I've tried quite a lot, but this one is like the best. 
When I say this one is the best, I mean like this brush on formula. Cause their other formula is nice, but this one is really easier to put on than the other one. I should have waited. I didn't think about it. This one is When I tell you this perfume just smells so, so good. It just makes me happy. I wish I had an air freshener that smells like this. That's how good it smells. If you guys have tried this perfume after hearing my review about it, or just after hearing anybody's review, let me know because it's so, so good. Like really. Do we like this or do we like like a full, a full lash? I think it might be good. I'm gonna do the other lash. It has like a white tip on it. So when you use these, you have to go back over your lash with a black liner so you don't see that white piece. I like the spikiness of these lashes. It's different, but I like it. I wouldn't buy this brand again because I don't like that white piece. Okay, so let's go with our foundation now. So I have two shades. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Niacinamide Skin Tint 5% Niacinamide and it also has Hyaluronic Acid and Peony Extract. It says, delivers a natural healthy looking finish with radiant glow. Lightweight buildable coverage. Separation may occur. Chic well. Now, Wet n Wild had a foundation that I liked before. It was so good, but it just wasn't my correct shade. Like I needed it to be a little bit deeper. So hopefully these are a little bit better. I'm gonna put a drop of each one. This one is Chestnut, which is the one I think is my shade. That's it right there. Let me shake it up again. I really like a lot of the Wet n Wild products that I have tried. This has a dropper applicator. The bottle is glass, which I like. It has like a clean smell. It has a nice natural look to it. It reminds me a lot of Makeup Revolution Serum Foundation. Like, it's very serum -y. I don't think it has as much coverage, though. Yeah, to me, it doesn't have as much coverage. But it does have a serum kind of feel. I'm going to have to look it up and see if it's supposed to be like a serum. It's very liquidy, like a serum. I love the dropper. It makes it very sanitary because you don't have to put your hands on the bottle to like tap it over. I mean a pump is always the best but this is good because you can actually gauge the amount of product that you are using. Now it does have a dewy kind of look to the skin but it looks very natural. The coverage is definitely not as full as the Makeup Revolution Silk Serum Foundation. It's nice. It doesn't have as much coverage but it's still pretty on the skin. And this one I think retails for like nine dollars. So I'm gonna tell you in a second. Yeah the coverage is nice. I forgot that I had some Wet n Wild primers because I would have used one of them. The primer is really good. Like really good. Okay so this looks pretty on the skin. Very complimentary as far as the shade is concerned. I like it. Very good. Okay. It says it has 24 hour hydration. Let me just pull it up real fast. I ordered this off of Amazon. <laughs> Okay, it says Wet n Wild Bare Focus Skin Tint to 5% Niacinamide Enriched Buildable Sheer Lightweight Coverage, Natural Radiant Finish, which it does have, Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin Hydration Boost, Cruelty Free and Vegan. It comes in, it looks like 26 shades, which is much more vast than the other Wet n Wild Foundation because that one had like eight shades of light and eight shades of dark and I was disgusted because I actually liked it. Okay, so it is $6.98. Looks like it's on sale. Yeah, it's normally $8.99, but right now it's $6.98 and the darker shades are actually on sale too because a lot of times you'll see the lighter shades on sale and the darker ones are not with a lot of companies a lot of drugstore companies. If you ever pay attention, the lighter shades are on sale and the darker ones are not. Don't ask me why, but I guess they figure let them pay more. That's how I feel. Now, I don't know how true it is, but why is it most of the time like that? I'm gonna go in with our blush first. We're gonna use Dahlia. I'm gonna use like a half, right? Drop of Dahlia. Like I have. Yeah. And then I'm going into this pink right here, which is called Barbie Rose. This one. This is Dahlia. This is Barbie Rose. Only because I'm trying to do that. See how I have the sunset eye? I'm trying to do that sunset blush that 
has been all the rage on TikTok. Yeah, I probably blend those in together. You should get a nice something. Let's see. You know, Julia's place is very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. That's why I didn't use a lot, because sometimes it's like too much. It blends in really good with the eyeshadow. Like it looks good with the eyeshadow. I try to remember to do my blush first, like liquid blush first when I'm doing this because what happens is if you put your concealer on first, then the liquid blush just disappears. So, so far that looks very nice on the skin. I'm going into the L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. 1.5% hyaluronic acid and caffeine. I really like this. This is good, I have it in three shades. This one is shade number C8. This has an iron shape doe foot applicator, right? The caffeine in this always makes my eyes feel like they want to water, but I like it. Like I love the concealer, so I don't want to stop using it, but it definitely has like a, it's like you feel it when you put it on. So that's this shade. Then I have this one, which is really neutral, and I have this one, which is a little bit warmer. So I think I'm going to go into this one. I don't want to go too light and have it looking ashy. Just a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah, this one is W7. And then the other shade that I have is N6.5. So I have cool, warm, and, and neutral. I'm gonna start blending this in. This is my, I don't even have to tell you guys because I know that you know I use this all the time. My Morphe E8 brush. It dries down kind of fast, so you don't want to leave it sitting too long. My skin looks very textured with this foundation. Do you see that? Very textured, especially in the cheek area. And I know that this is a good primer because I've used it several times and it always makes my skin look super, super smooth. I wish that I could use my favorite pink lipstick from this Wet n Wild company. They don't even make it anymore, but it was my favorite. I stopped using it because I was like, I'm just gonna save it special occasions. Like it was so gorgeous. Is that bright enough? I don't think so. I feel like I need a little more brightness. What do you guys think? No, it might be like a little, it might be bright enough, right? Maybe. I'm just gonna go around with this brush just a little bit. I guess that's bright enough. I don't want to look too ghostly. So we're going to go into this She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. And let's see what it looks like. That is it. You know, I always use my same E8 brush to pick up my powder. I hardly ever use pink powder under my eyes, but we're gonna see what it does for us today. It blends in nice. It gives a nice amount of brightness. You see that? And it does have a loose powder that's pink. I never tried it. Maybe we should try it today. We're gonna see. But I love the formula of these powders. It definitely gives a lot of brightness. A lot of brightness. I don't think I would use the loose powder to do anything on my face, but I definitely see the brightness. I like it. It's very, very light. I never use pink powder on my face, but okay, we're gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna use this cream bronzer by Juvia's Place. This is shade Coco. This is made in Italy as well. I'm gonna use this brush right here. Have you guys tried this Juvia's Place bronzer? I don't really have many people talking about it since it came out. Let me know your thoughts on it. Like, have you tried it? I have it in two shades. I think Coco and Mocha. I think those are the two shades. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it anymore. Like, since it came out. What do you guys think about it? Have you tried it? Is this something that you are planning on trying? I like it. I think it blends out nice. It's more of a, like a dry kind of formula. It's creamy, but it, it does, it's not very emollient, which is good. I don't like super emollient, especially in the summertime. Like when you have oily skin, you don't want something that is like so emollient that it's just gonna make you look greasy or dewy. I definitely see the difference in this pink powder on my face and I don't know if I love it. Like, what do you guys think? Do you ever set with pink powder? Cause I wanted to get the, the one size powders, right? But I already had these. I was like, let me see if I even like those shades before I go any further with anything. I'm just gonna go into this blush again and try to make it stand out some more. I just like to blend it into my bronzer. I mean, so far so good, guys. Let me know 
leave me a comment in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up if you like it already. I wanna just go in a little thinner with this contour today. This is it right here, my A20 brush. I'm gonna take this and I always try to connect it in the brow area to kind of give it like a uniform look like it's supposed to be there. I just want to sculpt my nose a little bit. That's the brush I use to carve my brows out with, so it has a little bit of concealer on it. Okay, so I never tried this loose powder. We're gonna try it today. I'm gonna tap some off in the top. I mean, it's a gorgeous shade of pink. Can you see that? A gorgeous shade of pink. I'm gonna use this puff. I don't know, I never tried this powder before, guys. That's what we're gonna see today. It looks very drying under the eyes. Do you see that? We're gonna keep going, cause we wanna see. Cause I can't recommend it to you if I don't know how it works. I just know that I like the pressed powder. The pressed powder is my holy grail. I never tried this pink powder before and I never tried this loose powder before I only use the pressed powder so we're trying something different it looks very oil absorbing if you if you look up here it looks very oil absorbing and I think it is I'm gonna have to look it up on on Shein because I mean the color is really gorgeous I want you to see how deep this pink is because I think this is the deepest pink that I've seen like do you see that because a lot of these other pinks are like really light pink this is this is good. I hate wasting product. Like I hate when it starts spilling out. It makes me upset. It's good. Okay guys, so far, so good. We're gonna go into, let's try the other powder. This one is the peach shade, right? That's the peach one. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This one is called Coco Loco. And the other one that I normally use is called Smooth Sand. So there is a difference. So let's see. Okay, let's see what this shade looks like. Oh, that's a nice shade. Guys, you can't even tell what the shade is inside. This is a nice chocolatey shade. Okay, I'm excited. Cause you mean to tell me I had all of these nice powders? I ordered this like a couple of months ago. I wanna say like November. So longer than a couple of months ago. But just look at that. That's a nice shade. Okay, let's see how the makeup looks at the end, but I'm really digging this powder. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if it's talc free and all of that because it actually feels like it's talc free. It's definitely very oil absorbent and you could tell because where it touches you could see the oil just disappear. I like that. All right guys so far so good. I'm mad that I've been sleeping on these powders for the longest. All right let me go into this powder. They actually sell it on Amazon now. I didn't know that. Wow okay let's see. The pink shade is called bubblegum. I forgot to tell you guys that. The pink shade is called bubblegum. She Glam Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. That's what it's called. It retails for $6.49 on She Glam, but it's $8.99 on Amazon. It comes in seven shades. You and your glam got a good thing going. Don't let it fade by adding our two-in-one setting powder to your beauty routine. On the top level, you'll find a silky moisturizing pressed powder that's uniquely made to lock in your under eye makeup and fill in any wrinkles. And on the bottom level, a sheer oil absorbing loose powder to keep your face fresh and shine free. It's alcohol free, added minerals, and it's gluten free. It's so weird because I didn't know that it was oil absorbing, but I could just tell by the way that it was reacting when it touched the oils on the face. So, so far, do you see how beautiful and smooth this face is looking. Now I'm gonna have to go on Shein and see if they have a all over face powder. And I wanna say I have one by them. I might have to pull it out, but uh, this is not a full face of She Glam, so. Okay, I'm gonna go into this purple and this pink and smoke out the under eye. These colors are so pretty. Okay, we're gonna use this Sephora powder because I love this just to bring everything to one and then we're gonna spray. We're gonna go lightly with it because it's a good powder. I don't wanna look too matte and it just gives a nice amount of color back to the face without doing too much. I just want lightly over the pink, but it's looking good guys. Like I'm really, really liking this. Very, very nice. I'm gonna spray with the Juvia's Place Ready Set Sealed Satin Spray. It takes a long time to dry, but I really like it. And I put a lot on because it's so lightweight going on that you don't really feel it like that until you are drenched already. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna put some of this mascara on my lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna use this NYX Epic Wear Liner in the color Turquoise Storm on my waterline. This color is so, so pretty. This is the NYX Epic Liner in the shade Turquoise Storm. These NYX liners are so good for the waterline. Like they stand out, they go on smoothly, and they last long. Yes, they do. Okay, I'm gonna go into my, my favorite Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I love it on my upper lash line and my lower lashes. Like I wear it a lot. I'm gonna go into this powder bronzer by Makeup Revolution. This is Deep 4, and I'm gonna use this to contour my nose with. I'm setting that cream. I'm gonna go into this V108 brush and just go over my bronzer. I really love this bronzer. So if you look at this setting spray, it really gives the face a very dewy look. I thought it was supposed to be like a matte type of setting spray, but it's not. It gives a very dewy look, but it's pretty on the skin. And it takes forever for it to dry, but it does last a long time. I wore it outside before. I want to use these blushes. This is the Sweet Cheeks Blush Trio from She Glam. I'm gonna use these on my cheeks. I'm gonna go into this one and this one and put that back here on the cheeks. You know, I like a good amount of blush. That's so pretty. And then we're gonna go in here and do the same thing on this side. I do have a yellow blush, right? Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so this palette is like an indie brand called Playing and Makeup by Yolando, and this is the Yolando's Bloom Lush Palette. And I just wanna put this yellow on our cheeks. Let's just see what this yellow does on our cheeks. I don't want it to be too, yeah, I want you to see that it's yellow, but I don't want it to be too pigmented. So that's why I'm using this A22 brush, just to give it a little bit of, this shade is gorgeous. So, so pretty. I know this is a lot of makeup for summer, but if I was going to a barbecue, like, I'm gonna do my face. I'm gonna do my face. That is so pretty. And again, that was this shade. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Yeah. Now we're gonna do a little bit of highlighter. You know I love a good highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters right now. This Revolution Pink Seduction Highlighter. I love a lot of Revolution products if you guys have not figured it out. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna go very lightly because it could be very... Look at that. You tell me that's not gorgeous. I do try to tone it down some, but that is so, so pretty. It really is. Let me see if I could just get just a little bit. I just want a little bit. I can't help it. I love, I love highlighter. That is so good. That is so good. Okay. I can't help it. I love it. That is so pretty. It is not a lot. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. I'm loving this lipstick right now. This muted color. I'm going to put this on my lips with nothing on it. It smells so good. That's a gorgeous color. It really is. I'm gonna use this Morphe lip liner. This is the shade Trendsetter. I love it. I feel like it's not showing up like it needs to. I feel like I need more color on my cheeks. Put a little more of this yellow one here. It's cool. Holly Hop. That is so pretty. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna spray this face one more time and I'm gonna use a different setting spray this time. Use this Milani setting spray. All right, I'm gonna go into this palette and just put an inner corner highlight in and I'm gonna go into this shade right here which is called Vacay and oh it's very soft that is very soft it's so pretty it's very very soft if you could see that and I'm gonna go into this one right here called out of office this one 
and I'm gonna put it on top of that and see if we could just get a little, just a little brightness in the actual corner, just a little, a little brightness. Okay, I'm gonna go and curl my hair and then I will be back and I think I'm gonna do something else with the lips because it's not dark enough. Like, I need my liner to show up more. I'm gonna find a darker liner. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I was saying, I thought I was recording. Anyway, I was wondering why my lip liner was showing up so light. That's because this one was shade Spiffy and this one is Trendsetter, which is the one that I wanted. So that's much better. I'm gonna put a little gloss on because I feel like we can use a little gloss with this. This is the Milani Keep It Full Lip Plumper in the shade 01 Champagne. Now, I don't know if this is gonna make my lips plumper, but you guys will be able to tell more than I can. I don't think so. I just like the shade. It has a minty smell. It smells really good, like coconut and mint, but yeah. So anyway, guys, this is our finished look. I think the makeup looks very, very pretty. So I am going to just quickly go over everything that we use and just give you my thoughts on these products. Okay, so I sprayed this on. <laughs> it smells so good. I just had to show it to you guys again. It smells so, so, so good. Even if you don't buy it, the next time you're in Sephora, just smell it. It smells so good. You're gonna wanna pick it up. Mm, 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 mm. I just love it. I can't even describe it. It just smells like sunshine in a bottle. It really does. I'm gonna try to go through these products really, really fast because I use a lot of different stuff. I'm gonna start with this foundation because it's the closest thing to me. I use this Wet n Wild Bare Focus Niacin in my skin tint. I think it was very nice. It looks very beautiful and natural on the skin. I think it did maybe oxidize just a little teeny bit, but it looks really, really Really good so I'm happy with this makeup I think it's nice for seven dollars you can't go wrong and when you look at it this one looks like it's the darkest one is that the one that we use yep mahogany so that one if you are my sister in shade mahogany is our shade we can also try this one and I may film with this one too but if you look at it on this angle you can see that this one is the darkest one and this one this one is warmer and this one is more neutral but I think we can use both okay then we use these I'm not going in any particular order, just what's closest to me. Then we use these She Glam powders to set our face and our under eye, and I really like them. They're not as smoothing as some of the other powders that I have, but it looks gorgeous. Like the pink, and I'm not sure if you can even see the pink anymore, but I think the skin looks really, really good. The loose powder is very oil absorbing, and the pressed powder, which is what I use all the time, just in a different shade, is freaking gorgeous under the eyes. Everything just looks smooth. It looks beautiful. We have a nice glow to the skin, and I am loving it. Then we use these Juvia's Place liquid blushes in the shade. Barbie Rose and Dahlia because I wanted to have sort of like that sunset cheek I don't even think you can really see it anymore and with all of the blush that I put on my cheeks none of them really is showing up right now I used this blush right here by she glam I used two shades of this blush and I don't really see it now maybe once I am editing I'll see it but right now it just looks like bronzer and skin it doesn't look like anything else and then I also use this planning makeup by Yolanda Bloom blush palette in the shade what is this hollycock the yellow one I thought it was beautiful but again I put it on my cheeks and everything I might see it once I am editing but I don't see anything right now I use this beautiful glam light Barbie dream summer palette which I purchased last summer this looks like a full eye I don't really look summer to me I, I think it looks gorgeous though like the shades are really beautiful and I probably could have went a little bit deeper but this is a nice nighttime eye the pink is beautiful the colors were buttery they blend it well together like they're very pigmented I'm loving this palette I'm definitely gonna do more looks with this let me know if you guys have any of these products that I've mentioned to you and let me know your thoughts on them like am I wrong about anything that I'm saying I use this revolution highlighter I love it this highlighter is so pigmented it just lights up the face like it's so beautiful on the skin it really really looks good I love it it can be very overpowering so you have to make sure you tone it down but it's beautiful on the skin and it doesn't make your texture 
I'm not gonna say that it doesn't make it show up because I do see texture in my cheeks, but it's not anything crazy. It's not as smooth as some products that I have used, but it looks gorgeous. Like, you really don't see it. I have some little pimples on my face, but other than that, everything looks beautiful. I love these L'Oreal True Match Serum Concealers. They're beautiful. If you haven't tried them, I suggest that you do. They're very moisturizing. They have a nice amount of coverage. They don't dry too fast, so it gives you some play time to let them sit. But they look really, really gorgeous. I love them. I use this Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer in the shade Coco. That's it right there. It definitely shows up on the cheek. There's no doubt about it. It definitely shows up on the cheek. Then I use the, I use the Sephora powder on my face to just bring everything together. But I also use another bronzer from Makeup Revolution. Yeah, I use this bronzer, Deep Number 4. These products are really, really good. I love the makeup. I think everything looks so beautiful. Like it really does. This is the Revolution IRL Skin Filter Pore Blur Primer. Excellent primer. I've used it under several different products and the skin is always beautiful. The makeup always lasts long and I freaking love it. And for $7, you can't go wrong. So yes, I love that. The lipstick that I use is this Juvia's Place Muted Lip. It's such a good nude. Like if you were looking for a nude lipstick, and you are my shade twin. You already know this muted lipstick. I'm putting this in my pocketbook because I love a good nude. A nude with a liner. You definitely need that dark liner. This is the Trendsetter by Morphe, but there are so many other liners out there. That's one of my favorites, whether it be high end or drugstore. I love it. And this Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. The lips just look so, so pretty. This is like an everyday lip combo, guys. I love it. I love everything about this makeup. I think it looks very very beautiful, very natural, just a nice pop of color. And these half lashes. Do we love these half lashes? I think we do. And I forgot two things that we used because we did use the e.l.f. mascara, which was the e.l.f. Big Mood mascara. We used that and we also used the Essence Lash Princess on our lower lashes. I think everything came out beautiful. Let me know your thoughts on this makeup look. Do you guys like it? Do you think that you would possibly recreate it? If you guys like recreate any other looks that I do. Please follow me on Instagram and tag me in your look. Like, send me a picture so I can know that you guys are like, you know, trying the makeup that I'm showing you guys. Today, I want to say you're resilient. I don't know if I said that before. I don't know if they have doing fireworks outside. You're resilient. I am resilient. I let things roll off of me. I'm strong. I try not to internalize things. I, I try not to let it in. I try to let it roll off my back, but handle it. Sometimes you don't want to internalize different things, so you have to be resilient. You have to be strong, and you have to be able to stand up for the people around you and yourself, but you also have to keep going. So I'm telling myself today that I'm resilient because when I tell you there's so much going on in my world, not directly affecting me, but it is affecting me. So I have to be resilient. So I am, and I hope that you guys are resilient as well. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on another video and watch it. I love chatting with you guys. Leave me a message in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I love all my day one subscribers. You guys really are my precious jewels. You are my motivation to keep me going. When I don't want to get up and film, I think about you guys. And then I think about just playing in makeup and how therapeutic it is. So thank you guys. I love you, my precious jewels. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to click on another one. And please let me know your thoughts about this makeup. Have you tried any of these products? Are you going to try any of these products? I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below. See you guys in the next video. I have one more product that I forgot to talk about. This Sephora Shape and Set Layer Brow Gel. Now it's definitely not in the same, I won't say category with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, cause I love that one. This one is nice. It gave the brows enough hold to keep everything in place. It doesn't have a shiny, it has more of a natural look. I think it was very good. For it to be like $12, I thought this was a nice brow gel. So I'll definitely continue to use it. I just wanted to tell you guys that because I forgot about that one. Okay.